Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial. Today it's on a really awesome GUI minigame. So uh, it's called Tic Tac Toe, which I uh, didn't really know what that was. Uh, I googled it and found out it's the same as noughts and crosses. So uh, in this game, basically you have to get three noughts, uh, which are the blue wall, or three crosses, which are the red wall, in a row uh, before your opponent. And whoever uh, gets it first obviously wins. So it's quite a fun strategic minigame that you can play in real life and in Minecraft now. So um, I'm playing with my other account, so I'll give you a quick demonstration. Uh, if we click one of these squares, that's where our wall will go. So if we try and click it again, we can't because it's obviously their turn and they can put it anywhere. So um, the best way to do it is obviously try and avoid uh, going near the red and try and get to three as quick as possible. So I'm going to win now because I've got three and gold bo blocks pop up and there we go. So uh, you can also disable auto restart by clicking one of these buttons. Uh, which is really, really nice. So, how do you use this plugin? Well, if you do TTT uh, or Tic Tac Toe, but uh, obviously TTT is much easier to type, uh, invite followed by a, a username. So, they've got to be online to do this. And uh, I'm apparently still in the game, so let's leave and invite them again. So, when they um, are invited, they can either decline or accept. So, I'll get my other account to invite me. Uh, there we go, and this message will pop up on your screen. You can either TTT accept, and this will pop up, and you can play a game. So TTT leave. There we go. So um, if there are no players online, you can actually play with a bot, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know how he coded this uh, for a bot to play noughts and crosses, but it's uh, pretty damn amazing. So you can either select medium, uh, no, easy or hard. There's no medium yet, but. Uh, yeah, so let's go with easy and uh, have a little play and see if we can win. Ooh, there we go. I've got him. Nice. And uh, obviously we can disable it there and enable it again. So that is how you do that. Uh, really, really good. You can download it from Spigot. I'll leave a link uh, in the description. Subscribe, I'll see you next time.